aita shalawam afiso tomo sana kiba au praise glory ona mtu ya hawa pa hashem ya hawa shai pa hashem raka kwa dash and i let give up on us on to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and uh, much blessing to you us out there living in truth and in sincerity man okay uh pretty much uh this is the video i found on uh on the vice page well basically apostle ramlap did a video on this article uh the black identity extremist uh he did a video on that and uh pretty much uh like i was going from my news feed or, or not my news feed but uh my youtube page my home feed uh and uh, i came across it like i started watching it and uh pretty much you can tell when you start watching the video you can tell it's uh it's something that's been set up okay just like a person said, it's, it's a build up in order to put us all in a particular category man. okay uh because the guy this one guy uh who has been interviewed around the the eighth minute okay if you watch uh, right around the eighth minute he this guy been interviewed okay he pretty much breaks it down man okay he said uh pretty much uh, these groups they are they have no links together they have uh they have no this they don't have the same ideology but they put in that word black in in uh in uh in their description pretty much covers all of them man okay and this is why and this is why it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what kind of what group which israelite group you are on man okay because uh you just gotta you just gotta do exactly what the lord wants you to do man okay you gotta bring out the word boldly man okay it doesn't matter which uh you know bring up bring the truth the way the truth is supposed to be put out because because you know if, if you see iuic iuic are gonna be pc with everything man they want to be pc a pc group man a, P, a group that's acceptable that uh edomites can look at and be like okay we are, we like that group okay the government can look at and say we like that group and the people the two faiths can look at and say we like that group Bas basically bas uh, basically on the fact that they're a pc group man they don't come and then gms is looked at and uh, like a more extreme extreme group man okay because we come out plain and bold man okay we come out plain and boldly and bring out the truth the way we're supposed to bring uh bring it out to you I mean, like the apostle said the apostle paul said i have no shunned to you to declare to you the whole gospel the whole counsel of the lord man okay so being pc is not gonna do anything for you when iso starts running up on you man okay because the guy says man listen like the, the reason they didn't they label these groups as being as black identity because the the black lives matter do not identify themselves as black identity okay um uh, uh, uh the israelite groups do not identify themselves as black identity the black panthers do not identify themselves as black identity man okay but they they force the is a word is something that they put together to push that word black 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 out there so that you can know exactly uh who, who what kind of category of people that you're looking for man okay and this man says it in the video like i want to play it but i can't play it man because i do not want uh I, like i do not want uh iso to uh to take my video down man because uh a page like uh a page like uh vice the copyright of their their stuff and so when you use uh their material to do your videos man they'll take you know they'll take your video down but he says it's in the video man if he was i'm gonna put the link up in my in my, in my video he, he says in the video that the reason that they they, they, they push that uh the whole black thing is to pretty much put everybody in the same category man because you cannot be arrested for following your first amendment rights man okay carrying of weapons and uh you know all these different things that you can do freely but when they label you as a terrorist they, they give themselves a lot more power over you than they did before because now you're a threat okay because this guy he, he got arrested for six months and uh pretty much he lost everything when after six months they dropped all charges and let him go okay uh now let me let's get some precepts real quick um because this things is coming for us man okay this thing is uh 
is this thing is definitely on the books for us and number one groups that they're having on that black identity group is the israelites okay you, you guys that are i want to be pc and uh you can only say this and that uh you know if you know at the end of the day we are all gonna be in the same category man it's gonna be there's coming a time whereby there's gonna be a, a major 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 persecution on the church when it's happened before the book of acts man if they are uh, matter of fact let me get it okay because uh it's it's not it's not gonna be an easy walk to the kingdom okay it's it, all, all we have and all our hope is the fact that the lord in that time keeps us when okay acts 15 or acts 14 i think it's acts 14 all we have is that time is that in the hope our hope is that the lord does keep us protect us in that time man because it's coming man okay acts 14 and uh uh this is acts 14 and 21 says and when they had preached the gospel to that city to that city and had taught many they returned again to Lystra and to Iconia and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and ex and exhorting them to continue in the faith, men. Okay, and he said, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And this is right after the Apostle Paul goes down to death to preach the gospel, man. Okay, and he says, uh, and we that and that. We must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most time man. so it's gonna be a lot of tribulation man, before we enter into the kingdom man okay because there's a, there's a lot of things that are gonna happen to try our face in this time man okay it's not just gonna be push the way today and then tomorrow that's us in the kingdom man okay there's gonna be a lot of scenarios that are gonna happen to us a lot of things that are gonna come on us some things are gonna be small and some things are gonna be major okay at this point of time is the things that we're going through or the little things that we're going from and are, are, are minor man compared to the things that are coming okay very soon a time is coming where we're gonna be having we're gonna have to face uh uh life of death situations okay um losing your job right now man you can get another job okay but what if your your life was in the what, what if your your freedom what if your freedom was in danger man like this guy for for the whole six months he was in prison and then after six months his charges were dropped okay that's he lost he lost his freedom for 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 six months even though a lot of these guys mean they are pretty much it's a it's a setup in order for them to bring uh certain things into play okay and you're gonna see it in the same video okay they, they, they set this these things up in order to bring certain laws and certain you know pushing this black extremist in place so that they can start pre pre persecuting all these different other organizations but the point is man you you go to prison for six months and uh you know they let you go without any charges man okay and all these things are coming man okay you know some of us have never been to jail man or been arrested before Okay, so when those things are coming upon us, man, that's a, that's a, that's a part of those things that is saying, man, from much tribulation, that's part of our tribulation, man, that's going to come, that's going to be happening to us, man, alright, because, you know, towards the end, things are going to get harder, man, okay, the fire is going to get hotter towards the end, alright, it's a Revelation 12 and 12, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down on you having great wrath okay so the devil is coming down on us having great wrath man majorly because uh, he said this man he said at the beginning of the video if you watch it let me finish this is for the devil he says for the devil is come down on you having great wrath because he knows that he have by a short time and this man he said when they come when they came for him he said uh let me see my notes I wrote it all down. I would, I'd rather play it, but I'll write it. I write, I write it all down just so uh, my video doesn't get taken down. It says, uh, 
first thing he heard was the, a, a big bang on the door and they said uh when they came into his house man they had night vision glasses they had ar 15s okay they had full body armor okay uh the atf the atf the terrorist the terrorist stack force the fbi military military cars uh dallas police all these were involved in bringing this man down can you see the amount of force that they can, and all he could so can you just imagine is a, a man or let's say for example he did have weapons and all he had was a, a, a handgun and then they bring up the atf the terrorist tax force the fbi military vehicles okay plus the local dallas police force man okay just to get you for having for having a handgun so you know for far easier yeah, that's not that's not uh, the, uh, the, the, uh that's not just for just the the, the the reason they gave him is not the real reason why they came for him in that manner man they came to, for this they came for this man in that manner to set an example for you man okay they said for uh to set an example for us okay and if you read about this man uh the way he started uh pretty much he was uh, under surveillance for uh for for about two years before they came for him he was under surveillance for two years and uh the reason the reason that uh that uh he got put under that scopeo that surveillance was pretty much the fact that he became a part of a protest that they held which featured on the alex jo the alex jones uh youtube page okay so he became a part of, he, he joined he became a part of a protest and then he became under the fbi surveillance uh program and so you can imagine all you guys that tune into our videos all you guys that all 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 us guys that are part of the camps right now most more than likely we are all under surveillance man they got our names down okay they uh the our 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 computers our phones they are always listening to our our uh, uh the conversations that we have uh the videos that we do they are always watching the videos that we do okay so all of us is we, we cannot hide from iso man okay we cannot we definitely even if you watch your videos on incognito or whatever the hell you do you cannot hide from iso iso is watching you man okay uh matter of fact let me get uh ezekiel 28 so like sometimes when i got too many tabs opened uh, my computer becomes very slow so the the uh, the 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 reality of this thing is come is becoming real and real and real man everybody's faith in the time coming is gonna be tested man okay it says this Ezekiel 28 and 3 says behold thou art wiser than Daniel there is no secret that can be hid from thee man so there is no secret that can be hid like especially in this era of technology man okay uh, i believe it's daniel the 12th chapter man it tells you about knowledge shall be increased especially in this era of technology because back in the days man they would to investigate you man they'll be going through your trash they'll be going through uh all the papers that you've thrown away and uh they'll try and uh, try and break it into your house to see what kind of mail you're receiving and all those sort of things okay, so now has it set up in, in such a way that now they don't need to do all those things now man now they know everything is digital now they can monitor your social media activity your youtube activity your your phone conversations way way and they, they've been doing can you imagine that that technology was almost perfect in the 80s so today is like so today 2018 you know it's like it's, it's like it's like now it's like perfectly excellent now man okay they can you don't even you don't even need to listen to make a phone call for them to listen to you okay you don't even need to make a phone call for them to listen to you man they'll listen to you anyway man through your tv uh through your phone you know if they can listen to you through your microwave man they'll listen to you through your microwave man okay this is what they are they, they are pushing for that uh the internet of things to come okay they're really pushing hard for that man all right uh let's go to uh second ezra the 16th chapter and the 70th verse it says uh for there shall be in every place so for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord man so who, who fears the lord man it's not iso okay it's it's it's, it's jack 
okay those of us when that our events especially especially those of us that are standing up uh for the scriptures man for the lord man okay those of us that are um, ambassadors for the coming of the heavenly father man okay because we because the things that we are saying man we, you you know definitely we now eventually they're gonna make make moves on us man okay because we're saying america is gonna be destroyed when your howard shy comes back he's coming he's coming to uh to take down the so-called white man uh, out of power man okay uh he's come to deliver the so-called negroes uh from this captivity we're gonna enslave everybody okay everybody that's not an israelite okay so pretty much those things that we say man that's a threat uh that's a threat to, uh, to, to this kingdom okay i was just seeing in the news the other time because uh they're saying uh china's rising the rise of china uh with the way china is moving is becoming more and more of a threat to the west uh than before and now so that's china so now you can imagine now somebody that uh, people that's dealing with uh on a spiritual aspect of things man okay the israelites man okay because you know because they understand that indeed that we are the israelites and that the heavenly father fights for us okay so it says uh, for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the heavenly that fear the lord they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the lord for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses and see can you see the example that uh, this guy gave when they came for him like uh, i said they said they had night vision glasses they had ar-15s they had full body armors they came on him like they thought he had a, a nuclear bomb in his house man the atf the terrorist task force terrorist task force fbi military cars dallas police every single every type of unit that america has to offer man pretty much they came to this man's house man i don't know what type of weapons the man had because i know uh, i know part of their organization uh they do uh, an open carry neighborhood watch so basically they do have weapons but it's weapons that are, are licensed okay they uh they have the right to uh to carry those weapons and they carry them around uh, openly man because even uh, even in the video uh, you could see that they have the police somebody called when they're doing the interview somebody called the police and uh they went over and the police pretty much checked everything and made sure everything was legit they gave them back their guns and uh pretty much uh pretty much they were free to go okay but the point was the way in the manner that they came after him man he says uh for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses man okay they had him they had him um like everybody in their house put their hands up and walk out their house and they had handcuffs put on them okay uh verse 73 and it says then shall they then shall they be known uh who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the god in the fire man so for for, for the elect for those of us that are in the truth man that's gonna be a trial of our faith man okay if you go through if you because remember like for for god to be for you to get a to, to get a pure gold you gotta put it in complete in 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 a, in a very high temperature and then all the impurities burn away and you get nothing but pure god man and this is how the this is how the lord describes us in our tribulation man and the things that we go through that is gold being tried in the fire man so you, you know that's why you gotta hold on to your faith in that time man okay uh it's a revelation 2 and 10 it says fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer okay so it's not gonna be a walk in a in a in a, in a park man okay a nice green walk with flowers around you and stuff to all the way to the kingdom man. it's gonna be a hard thing that's why i read acts the uh uh, Acts the, the 14th chapter, man. He says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So, some of us are going to be cast, are going to be imprisoned and put in those concentration camps, in their prisons, in their, in these uh, terrorist prisons that they've set up together. Okay, all you got to think about on that time is you just keep remembering the scriptures and hold on to your faith. He says, And that you may be tried and you shall have tribulation 10 days. So, it's our trial. When we're in those prisons, it's our our trial of our faith man are you gonna still believe in the lord are you gonna hold on to everything that you knew that you were you you've been uh preparing for all this time and you shall have tribulation 10 days okay the 10 days simply is just a period of time okay it says be thou faithful unto death and i'll give thee a crown of life man so be faithful 
all the way even even all the way on to death man even if you're gonna even if you even if it's like if it's a life and death situation all right uh he says uh verse 11 says he that have he that have had he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches he that overcometh shall not be head of the second death man okay so you gotta have overcome all those episodes it's not the power of the elect because the brother said to me that we're having a conversation man and the brother made a statement last weekend on saturday camp he said uh you know if you're of the elect man if you're one of the lord's sheep if you're one of the elect the lord's gonna put that spirit on you anyway man, to deal with all those things that you're dealing with man but the point is man okay it's it's been you know the fact to edify you man to know so that you know in your mind that these things are coming okay uh romans 8 This is Isaiah 59 and 19 says, uh, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Right now we're in the west. Okay, we're fearing the name of the heavenly father from the west. Okay. And it says, uh, When the enemy shall come shall come in like a flood. Okay, when they, when they, like the, the example that he gave me. Okay, when those troops roll up on your door. They know, they, they will have 100% knowledge that you don't carry for some of us we don't carry weapons i don't carry a weapon okay they will know 100 percent that you don't carry weapons they will know 100% that all you do is pretty much reach out to the bible go out in the highways and the bibles and do your sit downs the only threat that you to have is the fact that you go into the scriptures they will know all that I mean they will, they will have all the intel on you but for a long time because the guy he made the statement uh the, the guy that, that was being interviewed uh, let me see if I can get a, a steal of him. Okay. This guy, he made a statement. He said, the reason they rolled up on that, because that guy, the, the guy that got arrested is like the, the, the leader of the organization. He said, the reason they rolled up on him like that is to, to, to give a warning to the guys, uh, uh, to give a warning to his followers and all the guys that are underneath him, man, okay, about what they can do to you. That's the reason that they rolled up on him like that, man. Okay. He says, uh, back to this Isaiah 59 and 19. Because they, they rolled up on him like heavily armed, man. All different types of police forces, man. So they will know 100% that uh, you won't have, they will know 100% that you won't have any any type of physical threat to them. But they will roll up on you the way they did on this guy, man. Just to save you as an example to everybody else, man. If you find out that the brothers have been have been, uh, have been heavy, you know when they put it on TV, the brothers have had their, uh, their houses, uh, their doors broken in, and they've been arrested and been labeled as terrorists. The lot of guys, man, that will shake their faith, man. Okay, they they will, they will not want they will not want to be a part of that, man. Okay, they're not gonna want to be uh to be uh to be in the same same group man so a lot of guys are gonna lose their faith just on that alone man by seeing what other what other brothers brothers are going through and other brothers are gonna lose their faith okay it says the spirit of your how shall lift up a standard against them so that's our only hope man the fact that the lord said when all these things come he's, he's coming to uh he's coming to fight against he's coming he's, the lord because that's all that's what it's gonna take me just for the for the lord to come and fight against uh Israel, man, okay and his and his troops okay because we ourselves man we have no power against this devil man okay against against ar 15s against uh night visions and uh full body armor atf terrorist organizations and all these guys are are heavily are heavily uh uh, armed man. okay what what kind of what 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 what, what are you gonna use to fight against that man okay we, we you know we do not have any power whatsoever man to fight against guys like that man okay uh so you know pretty much when our only hope in that time man, is the fact that the heavenly father is gonna come and up uh, it's gonna come and fight for us in that time and this is what our faith is all about Okay, and some brothers are gonna get put to death, man. I got two precepts to deal with that situation as well. Okay, uh, 
sorry, Revelation 6 and 9, it says, And when he had opened this, uh, the sixth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High. So a lot of, so some of the brothers are going to get put to death men for this truth, man. And for the testimony which they, which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth, man? Okay. So a lot of some of the brothers are gonna get put to death, man, and you know that's another reason man, why the Lord's gonna lift up a standard against these devils, man. Okay, when our brothers go up to the you know to the spirit world, man, and complain for us, man. Okay, because right now we ain't com we complain through our prayers, our prayers, and just in the spirit in general, man. Okay. He says, and white robes were given unto unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season unto their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled man. so some brothers are going to get put to death in these situations that are coming in these times that are coming but you know it's part of prophecy man okay but in the end of the day man we understand what death is okay we understand what death is we understand uh what happens you know pretty much what happens uh, uh when you go to the spirit world Okay, and we understand what's gonna happen afterwards, man. Okay. There's glory in uh in dying for uh in dying for this truth, man. Alright. Another thing that the guy said, he said uh see he was arrested for about six months. Okay, he lost his he lost his apartment, it cost him a lot of money. Uh you know, pretty much it put him in a bad situation. Uh, uh financially man okay and this is what the scripture says uh Colossians 3 and 1 says if you there been reason in your house shy i'm just giving this guy this guy is not a guy in the truth man i'm just giving the guy example as a man as somebody that's uh that's in this truth uh when you know if when we are we when we are put in this in that situation he says uh Colossians 3 and 1 says if he then if you then be reason with your shy seek those things which are above where your shy is seated on the right hand of the most high and this is why the apostles man they don't they don't tell you to make yourself comfortable man. they don't tell you to uh to go get a better job and uh you know live comfortably in this kingdom man okay they say you do your they, they tell you do your free videos a week go out in the highways in the byways man help other brothers if you can Okay, that's how you set your things and that's how you set your uh, your affection on things that are above, man. Okay, you think you, you do things that things are for the spirit more than the things for the flesh. And it says set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay, because you know when you when you when you worry too much about the things that are on this earth, man. This is why when you lose those things, which we are gonna lose those things. That's why now you 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 wind you wind up in a you know in a situation where but like you know you can't you know like you know you 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 wanna give up man okay because you know these things this this trope is affecting is affecting you is affecting you uh uh is affecting you with things of the world man okay but you gotta be ready to lose the things of the world man in order for you to stay in the trope man okay. Second Corinthians. So like a first Corinthians. Okay, this uh first Corinthians seven and twenty nine it says But this I say brethren that the time is short, it remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Okay, so when you have, if you have wives or so called girlfriends in this kingdom and be like you don't have any men and it says because the time is short man, it says and they that weep as though they weep not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not men, though that buy as though they like pretty much like somebody that has nothing okay because you know for fact easy soon we're gonna lose everything that we have now okay and they that use this word as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passive away for for all these things of this world man, is gonna be done away with soon man 
okay um i want to bring out this precept but let me see quickly uh that precept okay let me because uh i put this precept down because uh, i remember the guy had made a statement he said uh just quickly get another precept and because uh, i remember he said uh because uh, that uh, that hole is called uh, that gorilla mainframe okay the uh that's the, the organization uh that that guy he set up in that organization that uh he got arrested for and uh, pretty much uh, he says uh the main objective of the group is a uh, is a uh, what to promote open carry, self defense, uh, food drives, weapons training, open carry neighborhood watch, or neighborhood patrol, whichever you wanna call, call it. But that's in vain, cause uh, because in that time, cause when cause Esau Esau's blessing Esau's blessing or the so-called white man's blessing was the weapon man, okay. They were given the, the, the they were given the gift of uh, weapon women because uh, when it comes to guns and ammunition and all those things you cannot fight against them man okay because they have the power man they have more guns and they have more uh, ammunition than you do man okay they are more trained and more well equipped than you do man okay and this is why for us man like we we don't we don't teach uh carrying weapons and uh all those things man our our only weapon is this word or this truth okay matter of fact let me get hebrews the fourth chapter that's the only weapon that we have the word of the heavenly father man okay this is hebrews 4 and 12 says for the word of the monster is quick and powerful and sharper than two than any two-edged sword man piercing piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart man because the spirit man the, the you know the this you know the uh the uh the scriptures man pretty much man uh uh the the, the the you know they are pretty much they correct all things man okay as soon as you come up with your own thoughts, man, you go into the scriptures, man, and the spirit and the and the scriptures will correct, uh, the correct, uh, will correct, uh, your, uh, your, 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 your thoughts, man. Okay, and this is why you go by the, uh, by, this is why you go, uh, by the scriptures rather than your own mind. Okay, uh, this is uh, second, uh, Corinthians ten, and uh. I start from the second verse, it says Second Corinthians ten and two it says but as uh, but I beseech you that I may not be that so like said, but I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence where wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh man like these guys like these guys that are setting up this black identity extremist man because they think we walk after the flesh. Okay. And this is why they when they come after us, they're gonna come out they're gonna come after us physically, man. Right now they're setting up guys like Vocab Malone and everything to try and come up with us uh by by trying to uh to uh, de debunk what we say or come up with us a different way. And eventually they're gonna come after uh, after us like the, uh, you know, according to the flesh man with their military, with their weapons and uh you know, all these kind of things. The races for we walk for though we walk in the flesh though we are here on the earth so we do not walk after the flesh we don't it's not a physical fight since for the weapons of our welfare are no carnal okay but mighty through through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds man so our weapons are not carnal our weapons are not guns and ammunition and uh tanks and all those things man since by mighty through the pulling down of strongholds man it's the scriptures that are pulling down the strongholds man okay so it's the scriptures that are, are, are bringing down the lies of this kingdom okay it says casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high how with the scriptures and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of the of yahweh shai how using the scriptures again man okay uh ephesians uh six and uh let 
machine. This are Ephesians 6 and 12 says, for we, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Man. So our, our fight is against these demons and against the rulers of this world. Man, okay. And it says against spiritual wickedness in high places, man, from the from the top all the way to the to the to the list of them, man, with their with their with their from the elites of the society, okay, from the demons that this the list of the society work with, all the way down to the lies that these are the list of the of the people of this kingdom, man, uh, with their lies, uh, that uh that that they've pushed throughout uh, all this kingdom, man, okay. It says uh, for we wrestle not against with flesh and blood and that's the point it's not a physical fight man but against principality against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places man okay um i think this video has gone way longer than i was hoping for uh let me get um uh, close here on this scripture on this uh psalms 23 it says uh it says uh, Psalms 3 and 16 it says there is no king saved by the multitude of an host a mighty man is not delivered by much strength man so that is why it's not a, a, a physical fight man okay because it doesn't matter how many of us we are okay whether we have we have massive armies like these guys man okay like these guys man they're doing all these uh all this training let me see if I can get a clip of their training I won't play too much of it. I've muted it as well, okay? Because you know, just so it, my my video doesn't get flagged. Okay, they are, they're doing all the other physical training and uh, all that uh, weapon training. Because that's what the guy said about what is his uh, his uh, group is all about. Man, activities, open carry, self defense, food uh, food drives, weapon training, open carry, neighborhood patrol. So he's to his because you know that's what Jake does. Man, sometimes man, Jake jack gets caught up in that kind of thing man okay jack ain't thinking too much about the heavenly father man he says our psalms for a free and six says there is no king saved by the march of one host a mighty man is not delivered by much strength man so you can be as strong as 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 as, as two boots two bulls put together man but that's not gonna save you man says an horse is in vain for in a horse is a vain thing for safety neither shall he deliver any by his great strength man they are tanks okay all these different vehicles that you have man you can put one take a vehicle and put all this armor on it okay but that's all in vain so, okay says so behold the hour of Yahweh is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy and that's our point that's our, that's our thing man hoping in the lord's mercy okay hoping that when these things come upon us that the lord remembers the scriptures and uh the promises that he's made to those that follow him and okay those that that believe in his name okay to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine man all right like uh, when those trips are coming against us man that's gonna be our our only hope will be the heavenly father man says our soul waiteth for yahweh he is our help and our shield for our for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name Okay, that's that's our appointment, trusting in the in the name of the heavenly father, man. Okay, trusting in the scriptures, trusting in this truth. Okay. Knowing for a fact is when all these things happen, the fact that the Lord the Lord has promised the fact that the Lord has promised that he will deliver us, that's where our hope is, man. Okay, let thy mercy, O Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, be upon us according as we have hope in thee. Okay, so all our hope is in the heavenly father, man. Okay, not in our because you know if if we're gonna get carnal man like if you ever see those videos um of these military troops man the way they train okay with their weapons just just the, these guys are hard men just without their weapons alone man okay they are very strong and physically they are very strong without the weapons so you can imagine now when they have their night vision goggles their full body armor and their extra military equipment so you can't run from these guys man okay 
and this guy the guy uh the guy uh, that got arrested if you see him he's a strong guy okay he looks like physically he looks like he's a strong guy okay i couldn't run from the military troops okay they'll catch me in seconds man so all our hope all our hope is in the heavenly father man all right um i had a thought a couple of seconds ago but um but it's gone away anyway but anyway um, i'm gonna close it on that uh i hope that was edifying um you know iso is coming uh you know pray study and do everything that you can do to stay in the spirit and to stay in the truth okay because in the end of the day is yeah even though even though we can go and do all the, the the training that you can military training and work out in the gym all that stuff is bs man okay iso is coming and iso is watching us okay that's this this video serves as an example until next time